All right, well, we start you off with some developing news uh, for, that we've been following since the beginning of the hour. Boundary firefighters uh, on the scene of a house fire near Sherwood Forest Boulevard. Let's get out to Fox 44's Courtney Williams now. She's on the scene with what we know. Hey, good morning to you guys. Well, now the cleanup process has started from this house fire that started around 5.30 this morning, and it was actually contained within an hour. Um, fire crews just left not too long ago, but this fire actually started inside the chimney that was possibly left on overnight, and that kind of just ties into, you know, it's cold weather. You guys want to make sure you stay safe. Now, some things to be aware of uh, just during this cold weather over the next few days is uh, also if you have space heaters, make sure those are a safe distance, you know, just keep those at least three feet away from anything that can be flammable like curtains or maybe any furniture. Also, you want to make sure that you unplug those before leaving a room or going to sleep. Make sure those uh, fireplaces are put out uh, fully so uh, prevent any fires like the one that happened here this morning. And also in the coming days, you want to make sure plants, uh, if you have small plants, keep those inside. And otherwise, if they're bigger plants, make sure to keep those covered. You know, kids will be heading out to school uh, and we want to make sure that they stay bundled up and in layers, you know, with warm boots, mittens, and also a hat. And for those commuting to work or bringing kids to school, before you get into your car, you want to make sure you tap on that hood because animals do like to hide under cars just to stay warm. And if you have pets of your own, just make sure they are inside. So, of course, there's a lot of tips to make sure you guys stay warm and stay safe. Of course, we'll keep you updated on air, online, and also on our free Be Our Proud app. Reporting live here in Baton Rouge, Courtney Williams, Fox 44 News.